Summer in Central Oregon, the kiss of sunshine, the cool murmur of a stream, and once again, a museum alive with visitors. The pandemic continues, but through it all, quietly and tirelessly, High Desert Museum staff has found ways to support our community, essential partners through the pandemic. Which one works the best over here? This one. Mm. This one. Those two? Okay. What's amazing about the museum's mission and our work is that it happens here at the museum, within our walls and out on our property. And it also happens beyond this space and out in the community. And during this time, the museum could have focused internally and hibernated. Instead, we turned to our partners to see what the community need was in order to be relevant and responsive. The museum quickly created a day-long educational program to support families and teachers in Lapine. It helped give parents a place for their kid to be safe and learn and be supported while they're doing distance learning. Um, I know many of our families, are, both parents are working jobs, and so without that childcare, some of our families might not have been able to work. Um, so it made a real difference for them, but they were a great support. Museum educators help kids to stay connected. I can hear it! You can hear it. And stay on track to follow their dreams. I like that I get help doing all my assignments and my homework so I can move on to third grade. I'm hoping to when I grow up, I'll be a firefighter too, like my daddy. Despite the challenges, the museum saw spring and summer camps as critical services for families, allowing kids to gather safely outdoors, teaching them how to create art in nature, how to care for the planet. They teach us about animals, about recycling, how you can help the world, about the museum. They pretty much just teach you everything. Museum staff reached out in the virtual world, creating online educational programs from inside exhibits, out in the field, and behind the scenes. We call this the Snake Exercise Board. Internet access has been critical during the pandemic. For that reason, the museum partnered with Deschutes Public Library and others to bolster online learning, giving away iPads and data plans to families with help from the Latino Community Association. It's going to be awesome to have one because I don't, I don't have one for myself. <laughs> the relationship uh, with the High Desert Museum is very important to LCA. We've always felt a great partnership with them because of the trust that we've built, um, the authenticity that is felt between us, and a friendship. It feels like a real friendship to us. Signature programs continue despite the pandemic. Every year, the museum works with elementary school students to create an exhibit called Kids Curate. This year, it was a project with fifth graders at Jewel Elementary School in Bend. I didn't know that it would end up turning, looking this awesome. It's really cool to do this, especially during COVID. To be able to incorporate science and art together um, just got the kids engaged 100% um, and that was not always easy online. And museum educators grew new programs such as Art in the Park where educators, artists and students created not only art but new friendships. The museum's work in our community this past year earned it the nation's most prestigious award for museums and libraries the 2021 National Medal. This was Donnie's dream come true. And I am absolutely tickled for him, for everybody involved in the museum, and I can't wait to see where we're going next. It highlights the work that the museum has been doing for years, really making sure that they are connected with the community, they're engaged with the community, and um, really making sure that they're furthering their mission and enriching other people's lives. Our community, our museum, working together to educate, inspire awe, and spark wonder about the world around us.